Hi everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Random Adventures and today I am upcycling a pair of shoes. They're made out of fake leather and they've started to disintegrate. So what I wanted to do was to make them like brand new again because it's a structurally sound shoe and I want to keep wearing it and not throw it away. So I got some knit fabric. This is stretchy polyester fabric. This is the best for covering shoes because you won't have any wrinkles or lines and it's quite easy compared to non-stretchy fabric like canvas or cotton. I'm applying Yuhu glue uh, right down at the edge between um, the shoe and the sole and a little bit on the shoe cover itself, um, just on one side of the shoe. Don't cover it all, <laughs> uh, just cover it on one side so that you can work and stretch the fabric over the shoe. Now I folded the fabric just a little bit on the edge and I'm folding it and I'm sticking it down right to the edge. And that will create a nice clean line on one side of the shoe cover. That's going to look very nice, easy. Now let's move on to the next part. Make sure you stretch things as they go a little bit so that it glues down nice and clean. Now for the tip of the shoe, this one is more tricky because it's pointy. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm actually pulling the fabric over the edge. I'm not folding it down. I'm pull it, pulling it over the edge, making sure everything is nice and clean. There's no wrinkles on the surface of the shoe. Pull it and leave some excess. So this is different. We're not going right to the edge only. We're pulling it over and leaving some excess that we will trim away to get a nice clean finish. On the other side of the shoe, I'm applying the Yuhu glue straight into the groove and a little bit on the shoe itself. You can see I'm not really gluing down. Um, I'm not covering the whole surface of the shoe with glue. It's not really necessary. Pull everything. Make sure it's nice and clean. Pull it over to the other side. There we go. And as you pull and then you stretch it, it it will form a very nice surface because the knit fabric conforms to the shape of the shoe. Now make sure you press it right into the groove. This is very important to get that clean edge that we are going for. That clean professional look so that it doesn't look like you just pasted on something. It really looks like the shoes were made that way. And so the shoes look nice and brand new and presentable. I cut away the excess fabric uh, from the opening of the shoe. The, these are like a pair of mules, so this was relatively easy. I could have done a cleaner job here, but when you're wearing the shoe, you're really not going to see it anyway. So if you don't have enough practice or just not a very uh, tidy person, it shouldn't matter too much as long as you have about one centimeter, half an inch or slightly less of an overlap. Um, apply glue on the inside of the shoe opening, stretch the fabric and stick it down on the inside. Try to do this as neatly as possible but the main thing is making sure that the opening itself, the edge of the opening, is really nice and professional looking and clean. And if you stick it down nicely, use whatever tools you need um, to prevent glue getting everywhere and on the surface or in your hands. And there we go. Now make sure that the glue is completely dried and the fabric is really firmly glued down before getting out a pair of rotary cutters. You can use, I guess you can use any kind of blade but I really like this fabric rotary cutter and I roll it right into the groove as you can see here. And doing that, going into that groove between the sole and the shoe will give you such a clean finish. It looks really good, um, as you can see here. And it might take a few light sort of rolls, be careful with your finger, uh, but just cut and pull away the excess. And if it glued down well, it should look really good and do that for the tip as well. Make sure you don't cut the shoe away from the sole. Um, just be gentle and careful with it. Okay, and then cut away any excess from the inside as well that didn't get glued down. And you're basically done. This is a very, very easy project. Just glue, stretch, and trim. This is what it looks like. I'm so pleased. I have such a cute, almost brand new looking pair of 
shoes that I can wear for nice occasions. If you like this video, do subscribe and stay tuned for more. Bye!